Hey guys, we're so excited to bring you our recap of the Beverly Hills Reunion Part 1. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. Thank you so much for supporting our YouTube channel. We had close to 45,000 views so far on the last episode of the Beverly Hills season. Um, great numbers. I mean, 45,000 is a lot. Like, thank you so much for... Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, you know, I really don't want to do a recap Orange County because I... Last season was like watching paint dry, and I can't stand. It was painful. I cannot stand. I like Emily as a person, but she's boring, and everything's fake with the fake sandwiches and the eating in the bathroom and the toy. It's and just the gross. kissing up to Heather and was kissing really up to obnoxious. Heather was obnoxious. Um, Gina is. Uh, there's nothing. There's no there there that I want to watch. Mm -hmm. Zero there, and uh, to be quite honest, Heather. There's nothing to see there either. I mean, but some of our subscribers on Patreon really want to see you see us do the recap. A lot of people, uh, Zani's are like, it was it. a call. They're calling. People are calling for it. So, you guys, my YouTubers, I know my Patreon people want me to do it, but I, I really don't want to give them the satisfaction. <laughs> really, I don't. You know, well, I, I don't want to promote them. They, they fired I get, me. I get it. I'm you know? surprised that you were, you were able to do it and willing to do it last season. Because I can't well, stand Heather, but I don't really, it's not. It's well, just, we could just go on and rip them every week. Uh, no, then I go, oh, then you're so, sour apples. Right. Okay. Sour grapes? Whatever. <laughs> sour something? Sour. Show us your outfit, babe. Um, so I'm channeling Dorit, okay? I'm trying to put as much Chanel on as I possibly can for the reunion. <laughs> well, you're rocking it. Yeah, little That's terrific. Oh, look at that. Wow. Um, I, I do want to... Oh, I have... This is a vintage Chanel. I want to do a quick um, summary of what I thought of the reunion, but first I want to thank El Cristiano for supporting us and promoting us and um, being our sponsor yes. for our recaps and for the Daily Smash here on YouTube. We really appreciate you, El Cristiano. This is purity, passion, and promise in every bottle. It's a terrific tequila. There's no additives, no sugar, unlike many tequilas, and they are expanding rapidly. There's a big billboard over Las Vegas now featuring El Cristiano, and if you can't find it near you, just go to l-cristiano.com, and you can get all the El Cristiano you want or need. We love our El Cristiano. I just think... Dorit looks absolutely obnoxious and ridiculous with everything <laughs> Chanel all on her person. And the hair looks. It's a terrific tribute what you've done here. Yeah. Uh, I would like to say as a, in a summary that Crystal is super annoying and Garcelle thinks that Diana was behind the attack on her son Jax on social media. But what I found interesting. That's was what I thought that um, Bronwyn's husband. Was, Sean. Sean was part of the bots. I was, I, I was so, I found it so interesting that Andy was so shocked and appalled and made sure to make a statement about how he, they, they don't support all the attacks on social media and how awful it was that people were attacking these women on social media. But he didn't seem that concerned when you were being attacked on social media. No, not at all. Uh, and fact, I had... he, he brought it up and was like, celebrate, I'm not celebrating it, but, but but basically saying all these people are so mad at you. Yeah, no, he was like, I'm getting people constantly attacking, saying you're this, that you're misinformation, that you're misinformed, and uh, you're losing, he told me he's, you're losing followers. Yeah, I didn't hear him one time say anything about how it was awful that people were saying mean things about you on social or media. Or what about awful when they came and attacked about my daughter? Or the, Yeah, or that it might have been a targeted attack by someone. Yeah. Um, we're going to get into more of that, that, that attack on your daughter later in the show. I think it really is, is, is profound considering what Garcelle is, uh, is going through. Mm -hmm. Um, I thought the first clip was interesting and, and I want you to expand on what it's like to do these reunions, because I know just from experience being with you that it's a very long day. So, so it, this is the girls getting ready and you can talk over this. Okay. Yeah. This, cause you guys, it's exhausting. So I'll turn this down. Go ahead. We all go, we, we all get, we get up like at four in the morning and we go look, take a shower and we look like crap and then our glam is there. And uh, so we, you know, you can have who, you were only, at the time, it was COVID, you were not allowed to have anybody there. But usually you can have like your person, that's Sally Ann right there. Yeah. She's the one that uh, books like her, that's Sally Ann. She's the one that uh, books like all the, the she, she's the one that 
try. It's, she's the one that she gives the story. It? She coordinates the story. Okay, but this is a this is a process getting ready. You're in there really early. Really and early. And hours in hair and makeup. Yeah, right? I mean, look at they start so that you're you wake up at four and then you start at like ten or eleven. I think they start at eleven. And then they shoot for what? Eight, nine hours. And then they were done at ten o'clock at night. So you're from there from ten o'clock. So twelve hours. Yeah. In studio. In studio. Exhausting. On there, exhausting. Right? And you only get like um like maybe like a half an hour, forty five minute lunch, and the lunches are disgusting. <laughs> what are they? And they just like I don't know. It's just it's not good. It's uh. just, and but you don't really want to eat anyway because you're in that dress and you're sitting there. It's like. Your back start to hurt. And then you're like, you have to be on and you have to be sharp. And you, you typically stay in a hotel the night before? You I stay in the uh, in a hotel. We Yeah, a couple of us stay in a hotel before because it's just easier than going shopping from Orange County all the way to L.A. because yeah. traffic. Yeah. Even at 4 o'clock in the morning, there's traffic. But, but, but you said Vicky forgot her clothes? Vicky, that last reunion, forgot her clothes. She didn't want to stay the night in a hotel, so... She she went there without her clothes. She went there because well, she thought that somebody brought. She thought oh. that that she left it outside, thinking that the driver was going to put it in the car. Oh yeah, I remember that. And then they left that? the bag at home. And they home left the and bag, and that was like a whole deal <laughs> right there. So must have slowed things down. But yeah. All right. So um, well, let's just talk about their outfits really quick. Oh, okay. Because I'm sure. all about that. Sure. Um, I like Kyle's, and I like Kyle's earrings. I think they're they're pretty. Yeah. Um. I, they look sharp, those earrings. The, the, They're all over the they're place. They're pretty. And my okay. favorite outfit was Lisa Rinna. Lisa Rinna, I mean, what a rocking body that girl has. I like her hair long. Her jewelry was to perfection, especially with the, all the rings and the necklaces. Mm -hmm. She had, I think that, that, that dress was a Dolce & Gabbana. Really? It's, I think. I'm, yeah. Don't quote me, but I'm, I'm pretty sure because I had a dress like that one time. I, I wasn't. I don't know. Love Lisa Rinna's look. I yeah. mean, she right there. Just, okay, so she won the. She the, won the contest. Second to me, who I cannot stand is Crystal. Her outfit was my second favorite. Wow. Okay. Yes. Good. And third was Kyle's. Now, yeah. why they would have Sutton and uh, Erica with the shiny, mirrored, bald, dancing with the stars <laughs> uh, outfits? Yeah. And and in that that she's I'm sorry, I'm not fat shaming at all, but that dress was way too small for Erica's body. She says it was a tribute to I guess Sharon Stone and Casino. She did not look like Sharon Stone and Casino. <laughs> the hair and the makeup did. She looked pretty. Yeah. But she's too big to wear those dresses. Like her she just looks uncomfortable. Like it's just it is what it is. You know who wasn't there? Diana Jenkins. Said she wasn't feeling well. Yeah, she looked but pretty well to me. So she showed up and she was she was doing a talk back with, with Andy for a while. And then she was reading like this. Yeah, I, I had that clip coming oh, up. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, up. yeah. I want to get to the next clip, though, which is um, when they walk out and uh, Jamie Lee Curtis comes out. And she's wearing, as you pointed out, glasses that sort of like Jeffrey Dahmer glasses. Don't you think they look like Jeffrey Dahmer glasses? I guess she looks kind of like... But they were also surprised. Oh, here's Jamie. Oh, Jamie Lee Curtis is there. Oh, my God. Well, meanwhile, she did a movie with Kyle, and they prom they're promoting it the entire show. It's on the screen as a yeah. graphic that, that, that this Halloween movie is coming out. And then she talks about the Halloween movie during the sit-down. The other thing that I noticed was that, like, when Andy asks her a question, he's, like, just reading it right off the card. Like, it's, you know, it's all so scripted. Yeah. But I guess you kind of have to do that. Could you imagine how her parents were so famous, Jamie Lee Curtis? Oh, yeah, that's right. Tony Curtis was her dad, yeah. right? Yeah, and um, the the Alfred Hitchcock muse, what's her name? Uh, um, uh, uh, Lee? Uh, uh, yeah, no. yes. Janet Lee? Or Janet, no? Lee. Is Janet Lee. Is that her mom? Yeah, Is Janet, that right? Lee. I'm... Janet Lee. Yeah, from Psycho. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, I mean... They we, I didn't cut a clip on this. They did ask, they did a thing about Dorit, and Andy did ask her about criticism that maybe they faked that robbery and... Um, we don't know. I just, I, the way how dramatic she is, it's like, I guess, I mean, it, it feels like a violation, but it's, 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 she's just playing up for the cameras, I think. Well, she didn't have a whole lot else to talk she, about. She doesn't have anything sure. else. There was not, there, Doree is pretty, I mean, this, her outfit was obnoxious. The jewelry is cray cray. Yeah. Um, but there's no there there. And I, 
I don't understand why she's even on. Honestly. I do. Because she's hot. Yeah, I mean. She, <laughs> That's it? <laughs> she, 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 she's 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 no pretty screen. and she's got a great body. I mean, she looks different than she did 10 years ago. I'll say oh that. Oh, my but gosh. She's got a great me. plastic surgeon. <laughs> Holy here's, Okay, crap. so here's the, the next clip is Garcelle talking about the, the attacks on her son, Jax. And, and then we're going to get into our reaction to it. Okay. Garcelle, your son Jax, who is 14, yes. was attacked on Instagram, and the comments were racist and unsettling, to say the least. Tell us what's been going on there, and how's he doing? It was the most cruel thing that anybody could do to a child. I mean, it was really cruel. It was his first week of high school, and, um, you know, my Playboy pictures were sent to him, um, it hurt a lot. Yeah. It hurt a lot. The one that really affected us all is someone saying, if it wasn't for your white daddy, you would have a knee on your neck. I'm trying to hold it together. Yeah. 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 That's really hard. Rena was one of the first people to condemn the online attacks towards Shax. Why well, feel the need to speak out? I thought it was the most disgusting, unacceptable, horrific thing. I was like, that's not okay. The amount of trauma that has come out of social media for everybody here is so heavy and it sucks. Yeah. It really does. It's hard. Yeah, I, I don't like death threats. No, right. I don't either. You know, don't threaten our lives. When you looked at the comments and clicked on the people, there are a lot of bots. They were not real people. So someone must have been behind it. Absolutely someone must have been behind it. Did you think it was someone in this group? If I'm going to be honest, I did, absolutely. Wow. Now he's saying there was bots. There was bots attacks against me, by the way. 100%. There was bots, and you can tell by the numbers we know. But well, they, he didn't say that about me. And 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 it's not about me right now, but m my daughter was in third grade. Some wacko uh, viewer said that Michael was inappropriately touching Jolie. They grabbed Jolie out of school, CPS, and Doug and Alex, who they were talking about, and he's like, Doug, t Kyle's the, having a mess. That's that, that was the owners of, of the production company. Yeah. And... It was so horrific and so horrible. Like, but you then, viewers out there, this is a TV show. Well, and that's what Why Andy said. Why do they get so invested in hurting children? All about the tea. Well, that's what I wanted to that bring up. That Bravo historian, they all came after my daughter. And no one said anything at the time. They didn't make a big deal out of the fact that bloggers were going after your daughter. Never. When it happened, all of a sudden, you're not allowed to go after people's kids, and they're all rallying together around this issue. Why didn't they do that for you? They didn't do that for me. And why are they promoting the site? That went after Jolie. Right. All about, about the, the tea. tea. Like, why are they all of a sudden that's a reputable source for information and they're using them, they're promoting their site on this show. Right. And that's the site that went after Jolie. And I know your ex husband sent him a letter and like Bravo was like, Don't worry about it. They're nothing. They're nothing. I have I have the text they, messages from Rebecca from Bravo. And I I should show them. But you know, this is what I'm talking about. The, the hypocrisy. It, the hypocrisy. They're picking and choosing they're when they're going to be choosing. outraged. No, you know what? I'm Mexican. Am I? Am I? Am I? If I if I were black, would it be different? I pro I don't know. I'm but just saying. I, I think what, it's what curious. Is that? It's curious that they didn't seem to care when you and your daughter were the subject of these kinds of. They did not attacks. bring this up at all on any sort of level. No, well, they did not. I'm, I want to tear up and cry right now. This okay. is like. You know, it just makes me feel like it just makes me reiterate to me that being on this show was toxic, 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 toxic. Maybe and I'll be played devil's advocate. Maybe they finally figured it out. Maybe they've learned or realized that it isn't OK. And maybe now it won't be OK moving forward for anyone. And I hope that's the case. Um, because, I just think it's so weird that there's death threats. People are going after children. Like, what is wrong with? With people, like, are they just that mentally ill? Like, I don't get it. It's uh, wrong. <laughs> Crystal was annoying. I thought. Oh, Crystal doesn't belong on the show. That 
millennial or Gen Z or whatever they are, that they will make up things to feel sorry for themselves. They feel pity for themselves. Everything is hurtful. Oh, it's their triggered. truth. They're triggered. And, but, this is the most annoying set of 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 of, of people. Like I well, just don't I, that group that woke. That's that, that's called woke right there. But I'm gonna tell you what they th- these ladies are not having it with her. Yeah, like that I respect them so much for standing up to her nonsense. Right, and they're all just sick of it, and yeah. they call her out on it. Right, and and here's here's one clip. I, I wish we could play more of this because there's a lot of of this sense of like, what are you doing and what are you talking and, and about and where are you, are you coming saying? from on this and 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 are you kidding me? She basically? reminds me so much of Bronwyn. Yeah, she reminds me so much of Bronwyn. I mean, that they really need to get her off that show, that right, Crystal. Well, here's the, I, I, I can't take it. Here's Crystal's nonsense. I understand where Crystal was coming from last year. That maybe I used words that, that I shouldn't have used. And, and we've talked about this and I've learned a lot of stuff. Because we can be friends and we can move through it. I think the respect from this group needs to be there as well. Why make this okay? Why, right, why, is this okay? why is this all of a sudden why smoothed is it out? Okay? Why can't you guys allow us to be okay? I think it's great that you're okay, but I spent three episodes watching wondering what this dark comment was. Make this a learning experience. The learning experience seems to be don't accuse someone of saying something specifically very dark on television. And then don't yeah, back I mean, it up. Because exactly. The reason why you actually brought it up to begin with is because Garcelle had said to you, Crystal, I feel like Sutton could have said anything and you would have jumped down her throat. That's exactly and right. in an effort to make yourself look good, you said no, put her actually, in the fire. I didn't do like... it to look good. I felt I was in a to save yourself. To justify to justify yeah. to save yourself to make yourself look good. I never wanted to bring it up. It is my one of my biggest regrets, not just in the experience of the show in my life. After Crystal said she didn't feel like she was in a safe space in La Quinta, Kyle called her a dramatic millennial. Kyle, what does it mean to be a dramatic millennial? And isn't that redundant? I just felt like words like violated, you know, um, not a safe space, you know. Did you say you felt violated when someone broke into your home? Someone yeah, but someone broke into my home, they didn't bring me a jacket. Uh, yeah, that's a yes, little, it's a little different. <laughs> so why do you have, have to spend weeks harping on someone's word as opposed to asking their experience? That's all you do. Why don't you get to know me better? Um, so, oh, wait, I was trying to get to know way? you better, but what I was seeing was someone who was, instead of speaking the truth, was making up a story. You just assume it's a story. What if it's actually my truth? But your truth wasn't true. It is true to that me. Up. You just said that you. I that didn't there make up story. anything. There was no making right. She's a quack. Okay. Your, your truth isn't true. The I love truth she isn't called true. her out. She called her out. Thank I love God. That. Yeah. I love that. She was. I love how Kyle. She's. She's got it, girl. Oh, yeah. Going on. She's she's quick. She's quick. And that 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 uh, Crystal is just the biggest buffoon I've ever met in my life. Make this a learning experience. Make this a the, 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 it, what? <laughs> you make zero sense. Like. <laughs> Get off of here. Like, I don't even want her on my screen. I can't take it. Um, and, I, and Andy, to his credit, called her out. Yeah. Uh, so good for him. Right. She also said that requesting Michael Jackson in a club from a DJ was problematic. Now, I get it. Like, the guy is accused of some awful things. But you can separate his politics or his, sorry, not his politics, his behavior from his music. I mean, we all listen to Michael Jackson. We all grew up listening to this guy. And, and there are a lot of people who have skeletons in their closet who, if, if you're going to you know, judge everyone based on what they did, then, then there's a lot of stuff. You can't watch that movie. You can't listen to that song. You can't. I get it, but you can't request Michael Jackson in a club because of it's problematic. Isn't he dead? Yes, he is. So how <laughs> how's that even happen? <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's gone. So is Prince, by the way. Yeah. I mean. What are you doing? Come here. Come are you going to go drive your new car to school? Let me see. Come over For here. For the first time. Woo! Wait, that's what you wear to school? I have a spirit dress today. Oh. Spirit dress? You look pretty. Thank you. This is Jolie. Drive safe, okay? Drive safe. Are you going to go Jolie pick- got a new car yesterday. Are you going to go pick up your friend? 
Don't ruin those shoes. They're very expensive. Hey, and when, before you start driving, you need to you need to put those on, okay? Okay. Yeah, because right, you can slip. She has them okay. on like slippers, but they're sneakers, and they need to be laced up so she, her feet are fully on the pedals. Yeah, Julie. Okay. She said she knows. Um, yeah, we got our new car yesterday, and if you go to our uh, Daily Smash, you can see a little clip yeah. of her new car. Yeah. Okay, so then <laughs> they invite Diana on, even though she's not feeling well. I mean, she, she certainly looked fine she totally and sounded fine. fine. It's a bunch of nonsense. She's not feeling well. She, the reason she stayed home is that she could script her answers to Andy's questions, which she clearly was given beforehand, at least some of them. Uh -huh. And you can watch, watch her eyes as she reads her response to Andy's questions. That's question. why she didn't go. There are a lot of rumors about you online that you're trying to clear up. And I guess the biggest accusation was that you were some sort of a madam and that your book was a catalog of call girls in some way. Nothing can be more further from the truth. Really, that okay, watch your eyes. Done, I'm very proud of it. And it has done a lot of good for a lot of people. So it broke my heart that I have to now... <laughs> Defend something so special. Can I imitate her? Like, nothing could be further from the truth. I am. I broke my heart, and this book saved a lot of people and changed lives, and it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. Oh my gosh. I, it just. It, it's just so silly, and that went on for a while. Yeah. Uh, what else do we have? We have one more clip. I know that. Do you think Diana Jenkins went after Garcelle? Well, that's the, uh, thank you. That's the next clip. And then we'll let the viewers decide. Here's, here's clip six. They went at it for a while. Yeah. Good for you, Garcelle. There was a lot more there that was about Garcelle's reasons for believing that Diana is the one who planted that attack on her son and that Diana was coming after her hard and that she thinks it was because Diana was trying to get her off the show. Well, that's I, what I felt like when with uh, with uh, uh, Bronwyn. She said I was I was racist because I wore a drunk wives matter hat. Right. She uh, went after me. Which just by in case you don't know, it was a <laughs> gift, uh, one of fifty gifts you got at a wedding shower, and you put it on for thirty seconds. But it was you a, haven't worn it, it was since. A, it was a play on words. And, and you and just it, put it on for a photo because you were wearing the things that people <laughs> gave you at your party. You put it on, you took a picture of it, posted it, like, oh, isn't this cute? It's but a she, gift. But, my... but she said I was racist that she yeah. had all this stuff and she had people like she wanted me off the show bad yeah bad well, yeah well it, i mean and then she wound up off the show too so yeah you know i guess she got what she well what when she, i see things like this and and i hear like all the stress and the and the you know uh, the, the 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 people coming after you the, the garbage, death threats, they the garbage that they have yeah. to deal with there are, you know sometimes it's just it's not worth it it's just not worth it to be on these shows for your kids to be harassed. It's just not, you know, in hindsight, you know, I, you know, Julie can deal with it now, but this was when she was little, yeah. like she was in third grade. She I, was I, a little kid. I, 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 Junior high. I can't imagine. I, I, I've seen it with my own eyes. I realize how difficult it can be. Yeah. And for a little kid, it, it's, I mean, even a 14 year old, like it's messed up. It's what happened? Messed and I know Jolie up. dealt with it when she was 14 as yeah. well. So, but no one ever gave, no one ever talked about they it. They didn't defend. Uh, they didn't defend it at all. You or her, they didn't go after the people who were going after you. Not like they're it doing it now. Cry, but I'm honestly. glad they're doing it now. Yeah. But they should have done it then. Yeah. I, for one, I'm really looking forward to next week and part two of the Beverly Hills reunion. I, th I thought it was, you know, a very entertaining show. It's a good show. They, they, Andy did ask some good pointed questions. He let the ladies go at it a little bit. And, um, and there's a lot more interesting. I can't stuff to wait come, I to think. see, um, the, uh, Kyle and her sister and Kathy Hilton and, 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 in the and, previews, and, Rinna, and Rinna. Yeah. And in the previews, uh, Kyle like loses it and, they're like, she didn't even want to stay for the toast at the end. Right, right. So that's coming up. Yeah. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet here on YouTube, please do so. And check out our show over on Patreon.com, The Rick and Kelly Show. Yeah. It's unfiltered and uncensored and yeah. a lot of fun. So oh. uh, we appreciate you watching. We I hope you have a great I week. I can't wait to take all this off. <laughs> so annoying. I couldn't imagine sitting there. Oh, I do like Garcelle's. Um, uh, dress. Yeah. Oh, I meant to mention oh, that yeah, too. Yeah, I, I, I like her boots. I like I her boots. boots. I think she's very comfortable. 
Um, she looked good. She looked good. You know, yeah. she's a bigger gal, but dressed very, very appropriate for her for her uh, for her body, and she looked very comfortable. You're there for, you know, 16 hours, and so you know, I could just imagine what uh, Erica Jane must be like. She looks very uncomfortable. Yeah, like yeah. you are right now. Correct. <laughs> okay, well, I'm right. going to watch you take that off. Okay, thanks. See you. Uh, right. Bye, see guys. You soon, guys. Thank see you. Soon. you.